We will now use shutter speed in two different ways to correctly expose the same scene. In the first example, you will create a correctly exposed image that includes motion blur. Begin with your settings at mid-range values. Check the light meter. In order to create motion blur, you need to decrease shutter speed. Decreasing shutter speed may require the use of a tripod to avoid camera shake. Motion will now be blurred, but the image will be overexposed. In order to decrease the exposure while blurring motion, we need to either increase the f-stop or decrease the ISO. In this example, as we are unable to reduce the ISO because it is already at its lowest value, we will increase the f-stop. Increasing the f-stop allows us to correctly expose the image. Now the image is correctly exposed and contains motion blur. In the next example, we will create a correctly exposed image and freeze motion. Begin with your settings at mid-range values. Check the light meter. In order to freeze motion, you need to increase shutter speed. Motion will be frozen, but the image will be underexposed. In order to increase the exposure while freezing motion, we need to either decrease the f-stop or increase the ISO. Decreasing the f-stop reduces the depth of field. However, this is acceptable as the intended style is to freeze motion. In this example, we have set the camera to its lowest possible f-stop and fastest shutter speed, but the image is still underexposed. To correct the exposure, the ISO must be increased. While this might introduce noise in the image, it allows us to achieve a balanced exposure while freezing motion. Comparing both images, you can see that with different settings, the exposure is still the same, yet the style of the image is different. This example demonstrates that if you adjust exposure with shutter speed, you will have to change either aperture or ISO to create a balanced exposure. The exposure triangle helps to visualize the relationship between aperture, shutter speed, and ISO when creating a correctly exposed image. It is important to consider the effect that each of these settings will have before taking a photo. This will allow you to create a correctly exposed image with the style you intend.